Thank you for calling your 24-hour CVS Pharmacy, located at 44 North Central Avenue, Valley Stream, New York. One moment while I transfer you to the pharmacy for assistance. Are you looking to refill a prescription, check your prescription status or cost? You can do that and more at CVS. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How many pharmacists do you have working there now? Two. And speak to the pharmacy, the pharmacist that has more tenure or is the higher up. Yeah, but it's very busy right now. I could put you on hold. It would be a while. Is there something I could help you with? Is the other pharmacist also busy? Yeah, it's very busy right now. Can you please? Um. And you let me know who the manager for the pharmacy is, because I'm pretty sure he went home. Is there something I could help you with? Yeah, I, I, I just said it. Is it a refill? Yeah, Who I, is the manager for? Does pharmacist Tim have last name? Park. Please, and he's there now, right? No, he's not here right now. That's what I said before. That's what I figure. Please speak to the two pharmacists that are there right now and inform them that I'm going to ask you to please, or if they, if they do it, have Mr. Clark give me a phone call. Okay, he's not here right now. You said that already. Please leave a message for Mr. Tim Clark pharmacist Clark Tim Clark and have him return this call and okay, if I at all possible before the end of business day when either of the two pharmacists that are there have downtime please have either one of them call me before it becomes before it gets dark out. Thank you. Do you have Do you have my number? What What are you looking for? You're looking for a refill. Yes, pharmacy, I can help you. Hi, are you the pharmacist? Yes, I am. I know you've been calling past three, four days each time.
far as I'm concerned, seven o'clock. Please leave your message for five one six eight four nine. After mom is in, you let you told me to call the pharmacy and tell them to check their voicemail. Because you left the pharmacy, you didn't talk to anyone directly, and you left a voicemail for that pharmacy. If the pharmacy is supposed to review all the voicemails and take calls, any doctor's call seriously, um, then that's, they, they should have followed your orders, which I'm guessing they didn't. There might still be a voicemail in their voicemail. Okay, but going forward, please make sure you speak to someone directly. I tried my best. I'm going to call back the pharmacy and hear out what it is that these um, inept individuals have to say to me. Really? Really? Thank you for calling your 24-hour CVS Pharmacy. Located at 44 North Central Avenue, Valley Stream, New York. One moment while I transfer you to the pharmacy for assistance. Did you know you can manage prescription refills and check order status with an account? Create an account in the CVS Pharmacy app or at CVS.com. Please put the pharmacist on the phone that picked up and it was trying to um, yell at me or raise his voice or try to make his point. Put him on the phone. It's busy right now. He just about. picked up the phone and he was he was okay, trying to talk down to me. Phone, but it's busy right now. We're 24 hours. It's very busy. Is I know you're 24 I hours. With? Yes, I know. I know. Is there something could, I could help you with? Put him on the phone. He's helping a customer right now. How long? Uh, how long do I have to wait? I can't give you an estimate. He's helping a customer. There's a line. When is the best time for me to call when I can speak with Mr. Tim Clark? I cannot tell you that. We're 24 hours. It's a busy pharmacy. There's a line right now. Young lady, what's your name? CBS Pharmacy, I can help you. Are you the pharmacist that was just yes, basically told me? I am the pharmacy me? manager. Yes. You're Tim Clark. Your name is Tim Clark. You and you just your name is Tim Clark. My, yes, that is my name. Correct. Please go ahead, Mr. Clark. I want to hear what you have to say to me. Okay, I know for the past three days that I know, mm -hmm. it yeah. could have been more. No, you they're just, here. just three Every days. Every day. The past three days. Every day. So you, you, you asked me to talk to you and you don't let me talk. No, I just, I, I, I just punched some water across the goddamn room because you're like, I don't know if it's, it's been more than three days. Like I'm doing something wrong. Go ahead. I can talk now? Yeah, but just so, keep in mind that you, you wind up getting, you pissed me off. I might just throw everything on the table that's in front of me. Go ahead. Okay. Past three days. We are very patient with you. Patient with me? What patient with me? You don't let me talk. I, I, I don't know what to say. 
Dr. Mohammed Hussein told me to call you and tell you that to check your voicemail. I swear to God. I talked to that man. I'm like, the day I talked to you three days ago, you didn't actually talk to someone. You didn't get someone on the phone. He said, no. He said, you, to, for you, you people to check your voicemail. I'm done with you. Mail. Fucking patient with me. Patient with me. And patient with me. Thank you for calling your 24 hour CBS pharmacy. Located at 44 North Central Avenue, Valley Stream, New York. One moment while I transfer you to the pharmacy for assistance. Can I help you? May I please get transferred to the front of the store, please? Sure. Thank you for calling your 24-hour CVS Pharmacy, located at 44 North Central Avenue, Valley Stream, New York. One moment while I transfer you to the pharmacy for assistance.
Are you looking to... Hello? Yes, young lady. Uh, your manager, I asked him to get me to the front of the store, and no one p is picking up in the front of the store. Tim Clark transferred, man. No one picked up. How may I help you? Hello? May I please speak to someone that is at the front of the store? General CVS, not the pharmacy. Anyone. You want to speak to someone in the front? Yes, because when I dial this number, it goes directly to you. No voicemail, no automated system. It goes directly to CVS Pharmacy and you and Mr. Tim Clark, who's there right now, according to what he said to me. If I was talking to Tim Clark, the managing pharmacist, then please tell me if he is there, because I asked him to transfer me to the front of the store, and no one picks up. I'm going to transfer you to the front again? This is the first time you're doing it. Okay, and I'm asking you, how can I help you? Transfer me to the front of the store! Thank you for calling your 24-hour CVS Pharmacy, located at 44 North Central Avenue, Valley Stream, New York. One moment while I transfer you to the pharmacy for assistance. You can do that and more at CVS.com or the CVS app. Download the CVS Pharmacy. I can help you. Dr. Mohammed Hussein call in gabapentin 600 milligrams every eight hours today. Let me take a look. What is your date of birth? Mate, am I speaking with Mr. Tim Clark? Yes, you are. Zero five one three one nine eight zero. No, he has not. Good. When you wind up talking to his assistants or call his office, just know that he made the mistake with the flexural. It was him. And the way that I was talking to you and your um, fellow pharmacists who did not listen to me when I just said, please call him. It's not that hard. Or send him a message. And I did. But great. You sent the message via internal email, which he's never going to see. And he neither no. spoke to someone mm -hmm. directly because no, he says he, he's sure of it. He says he told me, and I think he raised his voice just a little bit. He said, tell, call the pharmacy and tell them to check their voicemail. I, sir, have done nothing wrong. The only thing that I, what I could have done is merge the call from your pharmacy with the young the representatives, Aisha, because it took his worker, because I was screaming at him, he had me on like speakerphone, it took her to walk in and tell him, Dr. Hussein, you did not write ambient 10 milligrams. He took cyclobent, they gave him cyclobenzaprine, that's what you wrote. And I could see how that oversight could have been made on his part, because it was 10 milligrams of ambient and 10 milligrams of flexural. I just had pulled two police or I had Two police officers, a trainee, and a paramedic. Rufio, give me a number. Sir, don't never proceed to raise your voice at me or not listen when I am trying to do the best I can to stay out of people's frame of view your entire life, period. Every time I've called the pharmacy today, which is when I woke up, 
it goes directly to you. Now you tried to transfer me to the front of the store. I let that thing ring about 15 times. If you want me to well, wait. you asked me to transfer. So I, I did. did. Yes, sir. Thank you for doing that. Yes. I'd like to tell you. No one is picking up at the front of the store. Okay. I understand I that you have a I, line. I don't... Please don't apologize for that. I understand that you, sir, have a line maybe up to the door and you are helping a lot of people. But as I explained to your um, technician, I said, young lady, please. I asked for you. She said you weren't there that she couldn't tell me. And I was like, fine. There are two pharmacists that tell me. I was when out best. in the aisle helping a customer. Awesome. I said, please tell me when I can Just call, like, when it's not going to be such a heavy time of the day, because I understand people are awake. I don't give people the third degree, even if I'm done screaming at someone who, I, I kid you not, I was screaming at my neurologist, and then his assistant heard it. And when, so, when it's not my mistake, sir, the only mistake I made today the only mistake I made today, I'm talking about from 12 a.m. last 12 a.m. last night, was not calling a limousine company to have a stretch limo so the driver could help me get into the wheelchair because I only have a female, like one female okay, assistant. Mr. Flory, have I a can, nice okay, day, Mr. sir. Flory, I can only. Got to change that. It's much better looking than that ridiculous picture on our whole the control. She gets six rings. Please leave your message for 5164285375. This question for last was Senior. I'm saying that the senior part because your son's name is Christian James Velasquez. And anyone would make the error of by law saying they're both Christian Velasquez. Because you don't have a middle name. Because I'm not calling this number to speak with CJ Christian James Velasquez Jr. Internationally, some, some country would make the mistake of saying that you are the senior and that I'm dynamic. I'm not raising my voice. I just finished screaming at neurologists, pharmacists. Uh, I didn't raise my voice to any paramedic or police officers. Um, I need to speak to you and John Pierre Velasquez Aradat in person at the same time. And it's not that hard because 
either one of you can head over to this house. One is the one reason you need to be here in, in person is because you go on ahead and tell me that you lost my valid passport, my old Colombian passport, the Colombian renewed one, and my, and my citizenship card for Colombia. That doesn't ever expire. That is a very valid ID aside from the permanent resident card. So um, you deserve the good, a good talking down to. You deserve it because I, I would like you to explain that shit to me. JP is a little bit more of a complex problem. The phone number 516-800-9045 is tied to the TD Bank account that has 3000 Four hundred and something dollar, just a little bit above three thousand two hundred and eighty, or maybe another hundred. I do not care about the amount. I need you to look at JP while I'm talking to him about this phone number nonsense. I'm gonna call TD Bank right now, and the reason I'm talking like this is because everyone makes mistakes. Even my neurologist, I am completely out of gabapentin. It's not his fault entirely. After I speak with TD Bank, I'm going to make an appointment. I made two of them. I missed one by six minutes, virtual portal, NYU urgent care. And then um, I passed out. I, I... Your recording has reached the maximum length. To replay your message, press 1. To delete and re-record, to mark urgent, press 1. To message marked confidential. To replay your message, your message has been sent. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options.
Please enter your password, then press pound. So, at that. Press 1 if you're ready to speak with a representative. Press 2 if you need time to bring that person to the phone. Press 3 to cancel this callback. Message marked for deletion. New message. So, at that. Press 1 if you're ready to speak with a representative. Press 2 if you need time to bring that person to the phone. Press 3 to cancel this callback. Hello, this is the requested callback for... They want to know for you, Alaska's Idrovo, and by sentiment, to at that... Press 1 if you're ready to speak with a representative. Press 2 if you need time to bring that person to the phone. Press 3 to cancel this callback. Hello, this is the requested callback for. They want to know for you, Alaska's Idrovo, and by sentiment. So, at that. Press 1 if you're ready to speak with a representative. Press 2 if you need time to bring that person to the phone. Press 3 to cancel this callback. Please enter your password, then press pound, two new voice messages, and 14 saved messages. New message. So, at that. Press 1 if you're ready to speak with a representative. Press 2 if you... Message marked for deletion. New message. So, at that. Press 1 if you're ready to speak with a representative. Press 2 if you need time to bring that person to the phone. Press 3 to cancel. Message saved. Message saved. Saved message. Bring that person to the phone. Press 3 to cancel this callback. Message marked for deletion. Saved message. To bring that person to the phone. Press 3 to cancel this. Message marked for deletion. Saved message. Hello, this is Dr. Hussein. Return your call, 516. Message saved. Saved message. Good evening, this message is for Darren Forey. My name is Sharon from TD Bank. I was just reaching out to you regarding a, a callback request that you had submitted. Message saved. Saved message. If you are expecting this call with your one-time passcode, please press 6. Otherwise, press 9 to reject this call. Goodbye. To replay this message, press 1. To delete, press 7. Message saved. Saved message. Started. Enter your card or account number, followed by the pound sign. If you make a mistake, press star to start over. To replay this message, press 1. To delete, press sa Message saved. Saved message. To replay this message, press 1. To delete, press 7. To return the message sender's call, press 8. To save, press 9. For more options, press 6. To replay this message, from 1-888-423-0900. Received, Monday, 13. Message saved. Saved message. If you are expecting this call with your one-time passcode, please press 4. Message marked for deletion. Saved message. Hello, this is Dr. Hussein. I called uh, the medication government. Message saved. Saved message. Good afternoon. This is Verizon. We're calling in reference to the repair of your service. Message saved. Saved message. Hi, this is Elizabeth calling from Anchor Home Care Services. This message is in regard. Message saved. Saved message. Is there a secondary contact number you would like to add in case we can't reach you? To replay this message, press 1. To delete.
To replay this message, press 1. To forward this message, from 1-6-8-0-2-0-5-8-7-9-5. Received. Message saved. Confidential message. This is my account balance. My Aisha verified my account balance as of today's date at January 8th. 2024, A.D.Anno Domini, after death, or A.D., please, what is the the balance in the account? Absolutely. Your current balance is $3,513.86. Got it. And is there any interest? Message saved. There are no more messages. Main menu. To listen to your messages, press 1. To send a message, press 2. To create a greeting, press 3. For mailbox options, enter a destination mailbox or a group list number, followed by the pound sign, to create. Five, one, six, four, five, four. To add another destination, enter the number, followed by pound. If finished, press pound. Five one six four two eight five three seven five. To add another destination, enter the number followed by pound. If finished, the group list is empty. Destination cancelled. Please try again. To add another destination, enter the number followed by pound. If finished, press pound. Sorry, six eight zero two zero five eight seven nine five is not a valid destination. To add another destination, enter the number followed by three four seven eight seven four five. Three four seven eight seven four five two zero one. To add another destination, enter the number followed by p- at the tone. Please record your message. To end, press pound. Yeah, Pierre Velasquez and Christian Velasquez. The number that I have access to voicemail that was given to me, which is like eight hundred number, it looks absurd. Five one six eight zero zero nine zero four five is a number that is impeding me because I don't have a SIM card. I had the Samsung Galaxy Note five. I came with it. I'm gonna call Verizon. So I have different things I need to do. That phone number is the only number registered and linked to my TD Bank account, not allowing me to retrieve an amount of over three thousand dollars. So I could just simply hand that to Amparo Silva. So she has some money to do whatever the hell it is that she intends on doing. My life is not that great. I try to get through it. The reason I'm not screaming at either of you, JP, at the top of my lungs, is because you and Chris know very well that you can't fuck up. You can't even afford to make a single mistake. I used to, as they say, and I will say it my way, dot the T's and cross the I's. Trust me, that makes sense in every possible way. I constantly have everyone raising their voice at me for no reason or giving me a fucking attitude. Do something about that phone number because the very second that you... Christian Velasquez and JP agree on it, and you get rid of that stupid-ass number from TD Bank, they will have no option but to call me to ask me to update my account instead of having me go into a TD Bank branch and get treated like some gamin, like a bum on the street, like I never, ever worked for anything in my life. And that's pretty much the way people approach me. When someone said, with all due respect, the first thing I thought about was 
how stupid that was when they repeated it in a very condescending manner. Like they were Ricky Bobby. And I, I just had that thought, I have to make things funny. But it wasn't. I, uh, I guess, maybe, for a little bit, I may have like even the playing field with regards to showing me due respect. Because I fucked up so much on the internet. That people don't give me my due respect. Or even mutual respect. I. I'm going to say this very. Very fucking meticulously. I do not. Your recording has reached the maximum length. To send. Press 1. Fuck to up. review your message. Press 2. To delete and re-record. Press 3. John Pierre Velasquez and Christian Velasquez. The number that I have access to voicemail that was given to me, which is like an 800 number, it looks absurd. 516-800-9045 is a number that is impeding me because I don't have a SIM card. I had to get some Galaxy Note 5. I came with it. I'm going to call Verizon, so I have different things I need to do. That phone number is the only number registered and linked to my TV Mac account. Not allowing me to retrieve an amount of over three thousand dollars. So I could just simply hand that to a bottle she lost. So she has some money to do whatever the hell it is that she intends on doing. My life is not that great. I try to get through it. The reason I'm not screaming at either of you, Jeff JP, at the top of my lungs, is because you and Chris know very well that you can't fuck up. You can't even afford to make a single mistake. I used to, as they say, and I will say my way, dot the T's and cross the I's. Trust me, that makes sense in every possible way. I constantly have everyone raising their voice at me for no reason or giving me a fucking attitude. Do something about that phone number because the very second that you, Christian Vlachos and JP, agree on it and you get rid of that stupid ass number from TD Bank, they will have no option but to call me to ask me to update my account instead of having me going to a TD Bank manager and get treated like some gummy, like a bum on the street. Like I never ever worked for anything in my life. And that's pretty much the way people approach me. Nothing has been recorded. At the tone, please record your message. To end, press pound. Break. Break. To send, press 1. To review your message, sorry, pound, is not a valid entry. To your message has been sent. Messages. Saved message. Oh, at Press one if you're ready to speak with a representative. Message marked for deletion. Saved message. Bring that person to the phone. Press three. To message marked for deletion. Saved message. Hello, this is Dr. Hussein. Return your call. Five and message saved. Saved message. Good evening. This message is for Darren Forey. Message saved. Saved message. If you are expecting this call with your one-time passcode. Message saved. Saved message. Started. Enter your card or account number, followed by the pound. Message saved. Saved message. <phone rings> to replay this message, press 1. Message saved. Saved message. Hello, this is Dr. Hussein. I called... Uh... Message marked for deletion. Saved message. Good afternoon. This is... Message saved. Saved message. Hi, this is Elizabeth calling from Anchor Home Care Services. 
this message is in regards to the message saved. Saved message. Is there a secondary contact number you would like to add in case we can't reach you? From one six eight zero two zero five eight seven nine five received message saved confidential message. This is my account balance. My issue verify my message saved. There are no more messages. Main menu. Hey, you have reached JP. Sorry, I couldn't get to your call. If anything, just leave a message up. To send an SMS notification, press 5. Your SMS notification will include your number. 1-6-8-0-2-0-5-8-7-5. You may enter a different number now, or press the pa Your SMS has been sent. Thank you for calling. Dollars and 13 cents. An SSA deposit in the amount of dollars was posted on June 18, 2020. $2,375 was posted on May 15, 2024. An SSA deposit in the amount of $75 was posted on April 17, 2024. To hear additional deposit information, press 1 for the main menu. To review the last 10 financial transactions, please press 1 to speak to a representative. A cash purchase in the amount of $33.86 was posted on June 20th. A cash purchase in the amount of $4.33. A cash purchase in the amount of $102.46 was posted on June 19th, a cash purchase in the amount of $18.62 was posted on purchase in the amount of $27.98 was posted on June 19th, a cash purchase in the amount of $27.98 was posted on June 19th, a cash purchase in the amount of $58.45 was posted on June 19th, a cash purchase in the amount of $10.88 was posted on June 19th, a cash purchase in the amount of $4.34 was posted on June 19th, a cash purchase in the amount of $49.00 was posted on June 18th. This completes your transactions. To Please listen closely to all options before making your choice. If you need more information about a transaction, press 1. If you would like to dispute a transaction, press 2. To discuss or check status on a pending dispute, press 3. If you were recently notified of the outcome of a dispute and want to discuss it, press 4. For all other customer service questions, Press 5. To repeat these options, press Please hold while you are transferred. For quality assurance purposes. Important. Protect your card and personal information. If you have responded to any communication asking you to provide any card or personal information, please inform Direct Express customer service immediately. <laughs> This right here, this is what I call patience. You know, Steph, Our representatives are still busy. Please remain in line. We appreciate your patience. 
on this phone. Hello? Hello, thank you for contacting Direct Express Debit Card Services. My name is Ashley. How may I help you today? Good afternoon, Ashley. How are you? All is well. Are you so? I'm, I'm not doing well. How may I help you today, sir? Sorry. You asked me how I was doing. I got to tell you honestly. Um, there was a, um, there were numerous transactions that were made uh, in the past 30 days. Uh, and what I need to know is how many of those transactions uh, were done at CVS, the store, or a CVS pharmacy. I'm hoping it won't be too much of a hard time for you. Go ahead and provide to me a social security number because I'm having a hard time understanding what you need, so I'd rather just... I'm sorry, if I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not being clear. I need to know how many transactions were made at CVS. Any Go ahead. CVS. For any of the transactions that I heard over the automated system within the past 30 days. Social security number. I mean, you can take a look and see for yourself. You can send me out a statement and... Yes, sir. Because you can't tell me how many transactions there are. No. I wouldn't be able to. You would have to take a look, like, yourself. Is there, um... If Go you don't have that... Go me social security number, I'm sorry. I swore that I provided my social security number. I believe no, I said yet. social security number and then I, I said it and you possibly, I don't know. Oh, okay, so you didn't provide me your social, so if you would like for my assistance, I'm going to need your social. Um, that's the only way that I'll be able to access the account. Other than that, you can hang up and get in contact with a different agent and they probably will be more easier to uh, help you, but I'm... More easy.